The city's plan for affordable housing continues to push ahead within all things COVID-19. Mayor John Tory this morning making an announcement for new locations where affordable housing should be built. However, City Hall might be getting ahead of itself with previous projects slowly moving along, if at all. With all the buildings that have gone up at City Place, this site near Bathurst remains an overgrown lot, despite promises of affordable housing five years ago. There is one site on this list that was uh, a disappointment to us in terms of where it didn't end up going, but I will say that the rest of the sites in Open Doors and some of the sites in Housing Now we could point you to and be happy to provide you with the information as to a number of them that are actually under construction. Block 36 North, as it's known, is once again being presented as one of six new locations announced to be developed for affordable housing by the city. Phase two of the Housing Now program adds to 11 locations in the works, albeit some slower than others. The lack of access to affordable, suitable and adequate housing during the COVID-19 pandemic has been as much of an individual health risk as it is a larger public health risk. The six sites mentioned, two in Scarborough, another on Queen Street East where children's services are now available, a green pea lot on Sherburn across from the Phoenix Concert Theatre. This block on Danforth now houses a TTC garage it would be home to a few buildings alongside a new police station. All in all, anywhere from 1,400 to 1,700 new units would be built, but less than 500 would be considered affordable. This entire process is moving at as fast a speed as we can have it move in terms of getting through all the stages of City Hall and getting on with construction. Just one of the original 11 Housing Now sites is under construction. The rest are still in the planning stages. 40,000 units are supposed to be built over the next 10 years. This is going to be considered by City Council as part of its City Council meeting on Thursday. Also on the agenda is the possibility of property taxes being deferred that much more for specific individuals and residences and businesses as well. People would have to apply for that. That would be in addition to the 60-day grace period that had already been offered to everyone and that expired two weeks ago.